Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a very cool game engine that I recently found. Uh, this game engine is called as Dimension 3D and it is being developed in India itself. It's a completely browser based game engine. So you don't really need any high configuration PC. And from whatever early usage I've done so far in this engine, I feel it's very powerful and it is capable of doing a lot of interesting stuff. So here you go. This is Dimension 3D. Uh, link is in the description. You can check it out. Uh, you can create some pretty cool games uh, over here with this engine. Um, it is currently available in three pricing tiers. So there's your free plan, then there is your premium plan and enterprise plan. A couple of interesting features in the premium and enterprise plan. So I'm going to walk you through what this engine is capable of doing. So I'll be logging in and you can log in using any Google account that you have. So I've used my Gmail ID. Uh, to log in and as you can see uh, i've already created some basic examples over here but we are going to create a completely new project from scratch there are a few featured projects as well you can check them out at your own convenience these are these are these these projects actually show the true potential of this engine uh, it, it's super powerful but i'm just going to show you some very basic stuff that we can do inside this game also uh, i'm going to show you one more cool stuff uh, that the team of dimension has done specifically for me in this engine uh, so i'm going to call this world as nikhil's world okay and we'll create this new world and as soon as we create it as you can see over here we've got a blank canvas there are there is almost nothing over here except this one character so we can directly click on preview and start walking with this character a bunch of pre-made functionality like walking running jumping uh, the animations are not the most production quality, but you can tweak them and get them running as per what you want. But it gets the job done, all right? And uh, if you now click on new item over here, there are a bunch of these pre-made assets that they've made. Uh, these include props, these include animals, these include trees. So I'm going to place a tree over here. Uh, maybe I'll place one more object, maybe this potion over here. Uh, there is a car as well that you can place, right? Bunch of cool stuff, but the coolest of all right now that the team has specifically done for me is you can modify your character and make it look like me. Okay. I'll show you how this works. So here right now, when I've clicked my character, I can actually change this character and in the dimension library, you can find multiple of these different, different avatars, but the most amazing character hopefully for you guys also will be this last character so you can actually find my character nikhil malankar in the dimension library and i'm going to use my character because why not right and once you do that you'll see that uh, you know um, the character gets updated over here i can tweak the distance of camera because i felt that the camera was too far away so i'm going to keep the distance at maybe 3.3 and then I can try and preview this. So you can see when I preview this, my character gets updated. I can walk, I can go towards this object. I can come near this car. There is a collision on this. I can jump on this car and I can walk on this car. And if you spend some time in this engine and try to tweak all the parameters properly as per what you want, you can actually do a lot of things uh, through this engine. Uh, so there are a bunch of options. First person option is available. Third person option is available. Uh, I prefer to, uh, you know, see my character. So I'm going to probably go with any and keep this distance like this. Oh, what happened? My character vanished. Never mind. Let's let's check what went wrong. I will rechange my character. Probably I'll just do a undo, undo, undo for whatever step we get okay anyway ah, i think it glitched out never mind so guys this engine by the way is also in its very early stages so any feedback is also appreciated you can go ahead and check out their platform link as i mentioned is in the description they also have a bunch of interesting events planned up as well as game jams that they're going to run uh, so stay tuned with their website and uh, over here you can see like if i hit play button it will compile the entire game and make it run on the browser and as you can see oh okay fantastic my character is back 
I was scared for a bit what happened actually. And of course, <laughs> so this tree is floating in the air, which is completely my fault. That's how I placed it. But obviously you can, you know, tweak it and make it sit on the ground. And uh, what else? These are some of the pre-built functions. So there's camera mode T, F, E, and H. So let's try and do, okay, so E actually hits. So my character hits it and H is the emote. So I can actually do any sort of emote and what else? f is to interact so let's see if our character actually interacts with the car i don't think we've added that functionality so the character will not but let's try and do that let's let's see how easy this platform is okay so i'm gonna click on this car and i think there are a few behaviors that you can uh add in here so i think there's also a script that you can write over here which is super cool so if you want to actually write some custom code that can also be done and what else uh, a bunch of animations so i can interact i can have that interaction event i can add an event what is this player launch so you know you will actually need some time to fiddle around and see what this engine is capable of but now what I will do is I will actually, okay, you can change the background as well to be a futuristic city. Let's see what happens. Nikhil's world is changing. It's going to take some time to load. And now you can see that our futuristic city is loaded uh, basically it's like a huge background that has changed and i can even change the ground which is super cool so let's see if i can i'll add grass as a ground okay and wow just on the fly grass also changed the ground also changed i'll just place this tree so that it does not look weird and what else i can add a bunch of new objects as well uh by the way guys you can also create your own files you can see that i have also imported one custom character and you can contribute it to be a part of the community as well so if you create anything new it will appear over here in the community tab you can see that people have already started creating bunch of assets so super convenient super neat and super simple as well you don't even need any programming experience as such uh and uh, what else so i'm gonna i'm gonna place uh few more stuff uh, table simple okay some big table giant table and let's see if i can create a coin collection mechanic so i'm keeping wow this is a big coin by the way i will make it as 0 0.2 okay so yeah okay this is fine and i will maybe duplicate it and i will keep one more so like three coins uh and we probably have an interaction system over here as well i think we can create okay this is a collectible coin so let's see i think i added these coins as well so i will make each of these three coins as collectible and let's see if i just do this will this work or not let's hit play And our world is loading, 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 loading. Let's go. So now, oh, wow, I can already see that on the top left, there is an icon of coins and a number. So, oh, wow. Fantastic. I didn't even have to write any code to do this. Is it always like, it, you know, whenever we are making any sort of game, for such basic stuff, you still have to write some sort of a code, right? But here I just placed a coin and I activated that on collect collectible and it happened for me, which is super convenient. And there are these bunch of other uh, projects as well. Uh, and there is a modern city example, which I'm going to boot up now to just show you guys what it's capable of. 
Uh, now here, this example, I've actually seen it earlier as well. It's like this huge open world that can run inside your browser. Now, before this, browser-based games were very simple. Your uh, cut the rope or your tic-tac-toe or your 2048 or, you know, balloons type. But nowadays, uh, browsers have actually become capable of handling bigger game experiences as well. You know, so if you do this right, if you use this engine correctly, you can actually create some very cool experiences out of this as well. So, which is what you'll see now in the modern city example. So, as you can see, this is the character and this is the dimension downtown explore the city and can i get inside this car or uh, i think enter the car is not there interact if f let's see if i can enter from here no i don't think i can enter any car but still the fact that you know like it is this city can i can i beat him no i can't Anyway, the functionality seems limited right now, but I think it's more about the person who uses the engine uh, because the engine is capable of doing a lot of, a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, it's just, you know, the person who needs to uh, extract the most out of the engine. And you can see like, you know, this is a, like if you look at it from a mobile game perspective, it's a decent, cool mobile game. Um, we have a character walking around. There's a bunch of vehicles walking around. Pedestrian system is there. Uh, there's this huge city that you can explore on foot. This jumping mechanic, the character can punch and all, right? So pretty cool stuff inside this engine. Uh, so would urge you all to go ahead and check it out. That's it, guys. This is Dimension. So if you like this, um, just go ahead, check out their platform and uh, Watch out for the news about the game jam there. Um, you know, the dev team has uh, actually told me that they're going to host a game jam for this particular platform very soon. So get accustomed with the entire framework, uh, walk yourself through all the features available. I showed you a bunch of stuff, but there is more to it. I just showed you a very basic coin collection thing, but there's actually much more stuff to it in this engine. So go ahead guys, check out Zimension and if you like this platform, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're finding my channel for the first time, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on my new videos. I'm a game developer by profession and I make videos on games and game development. That's it for this video. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, take care.